good morning welcome back to another vlog my hair is crazy i have some bedhead going on but i just wanted to say good morning and hi it is friday and i am just trying to make an effort to really vlog every part of my day i feel like i go through like chunks throughout the day of not filming and i just want to share more so i'm saying hello slept amazing last night I cleaned the crap out of my apartment yesterday. I feel like the added stress in my life recently has just made me want to clean my space. So I really like organized and cleaned in here yesterday. So I'm feeling much better. If you guys haven't watched my last vlog, I was complaining about how I have to go into my office three days a week. And it's just making me feel stressed because like the commute again and like, you know, just readjusting to that life again has been a little it just feels awkward you know like it's just like trying to get into a routine again after not having to go into an office for as long as we've been doing that i guess i'll just share with you i always like to share what books i'm reading with you guys so i just started this one it's called the best of friends by lucinda berry she wrote a different book called the perfect child and i absolutely loved it, it was really good so i picked this up it's weird because i borrowed this from the library but it's a soft cover which is interesting because normally whenever you borrow from the library it's always a hardcover but yeah i'm just like on a reading binge lately which is really nice i feel like that's another thing like that helps me manage stress really well um but yeah i'm just organizing like a psychopath recently some of you guys have asked if i get rid of clothes often because i shop a lot and i would say i get rid of like a bag of clothes like once a month at least so yesterday i got rid of a bag and it really helps not having clutter around here because i do have two closets we're just rambling now but i keep all of my like normal rotation clothes on this clothing rack i have two closets you guys have asked before that's why i'm sharing this it's not just me like sharing this for no reason um and i have like folded stuff up there some hats and then i have hanging stuff and then some shelving here with like underwear and whatnot and then i also have like shelving down here which like i should probably organize this better because there's just shoes back here disorganized but yeah there's just like more jeans and stuff there and then this is like more of my shoe slash vacuum closet slash coat closet again not the most organized but i'm just grateful to have two closets here and then we have this little shoe cabinet which i am absolutely obsessed with i actually bought this off of facebook marketplace and it was the best piece of furniture i ever bought i was also thinking of clearing this all out and putting more clothes in there just because there's just like junk in there like you know random stuff but i don't know but i'm feeling much better i feel like i'm constantly getting rid of clothes because like i don't have the space for it i also keep clothes under my bed too so i have two of these under the bed storage things and they have sweatpants and sweatshirts in there so that's the majority of where i keep all my clothes and everything like is my hair all right i gotta i gotta figure this out but on the itinerary today i have to return something to whole foods because they have an amazon drop off location at whole foods so i have to go there I also want to get my eyebrows done because it just makes me feel better and then I probably will pick up some groceries from Whole Foods while I'm there and then what was the other thing? I have to self tan today because that makes me feel better as well. And then I have to film today for YouTube, a couple sponsored things and I would like to film like specific dedicated videos about Italy but... I don't like to do that. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed now, I only like to vlog. I like, I don't like to do dedicated videos because I'm like kind of, I don't know, I just don't like to sit down and film. It's weird. But yeah, obviously I'm still working, but this week has been so busy with work, so I'm not sure if today will be busy either, 
but for now I don't really have much work to do that's one thing about going into the office I like crank out all of my work while I'm there and then my days at home are a little more quiet and I can run errands and do stuff like that oh my god one more thing to share so when I was in Cape Vincent my stepmom was telling me about how she was talking to this doctor and he was saying that he regularly does liver cleanses and apparently they're like really good for you and this guy is like super healthy i was intrigued immediately and i bought a liver cleanse off of amazon this was only like six dollars so i was like if it doesn't work like not a big deal it can't hurt right i'm interested to see how this goes i think i'm going to start it on monday just because <laughs> If you guys watch my videos regularly, you know that Leo and I like kind of eat unhealthy on the weekends and my camera rudely cut me off. But yeah, Leo and I eat unhealthy on the weekends. So I might start this on Monday because I'm working from home on Monday. So if we have any complications with it, I will be in the comfort of my home. I will keep you guys posted if this ends up being a success or not. I'm sure I'll be vlogging up until Monday and including that in here. Unless this vlog just gets completely out of control with how long it is, but you guys like the long one, so we'll see. But let's get this day going. Happy Friday. We have a wonderful weekend ahead. of the week i've been wearing this non-stop it's so cozy i also just think it looks cute with biker shorts just for running errands i love it gray sweatshirts are my favorite thing gray sweatshirts gray sweatpants and white t-shirts that's like my thing <laughs> Okay, so I'm back home. I only spent $12 at the grocery store. I bought my favorite granola, Purely Elizabeth, pumpkin cinnamon flavor. We're all about the fall vibes here. Probably gonna make a yogurt bowl. I haven't eaten yet today. Got some pretzels. I've never tried these before, but they looked amazing, so why not? And I'm on a melon kick lately. Cantaloupe just sounded good. Well, this is actually called a kiss melon never heard of that before but it says kiss melon right there so we're gonna cut this bad boy up and see how it tastes i'm like really intrigued you know so let's get this going please be orange oh you know what? This looks like a hybrid between a cantaloupe and a honeydew. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's definitely a mix between honeydew and cantaloupe. I like it a lot, actually. 100% always buying these. I had to open them and try. So good. So crunchy. Mmm. I love a pretzel. So I'm gonna make my Greek yogurt bowl. I have some water going to do some soft boiled eggs, but I tried this new brand of Greek yogurt and I really like it. It's the Stonyfield Organic. I really, really like it. It's good. Put some of this in a bowl, drizzle of honey. 
I always switch up the berries, but today I'm doing raspberries because I want to finish these. And then I also have blackberries. I have been loving blackberries lately. I feel like they're also in season right now. Maybe I'm crazy. I eat this like almost every day. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's so good. So satisfying. I love when I get home from the grocery store and realize that I'm running out of something. Don't you love that? Good times. Do a little drizzle of PB. The best topping of all. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Look how big this chunk is. Wow. Okay, that's it. We're done with that. Here is the finished bowl. Super simple, easy. Assembled it in like five minutes. I need to shower, but I'm gonna eat this and then go get my eyebrows done. And something's telling me I should go to Trader Joe's after work today. They used to have these butternut squash raviolis. I think it was like a seasonal thing, but I think I should just go there and, you know, browse around their new pumpkin stuff, maybe. We'll see how I feel later. I just boiled water to have some tea, and I wanted to share with you guys what tea I've been drinking. So, I have been drinking this blueberry slim life green tea the blueberry sounded appealing to me so that's why i picked this one up normally i hate green tea but i really like this a lot the blueberry is like very subtle and it gives you a little nice boost of energy so i've been loving that and then every night before bed i always drink this bedtime tea it's my favorite and the last one that I've been drinking like around four o'clock ish, I've been drinking a lot of tea lately, is this Kava Stress Relief. I love the Yogi brand, it's just my favorite. All the flavors are really good to me, but really loving these lately. So I'm gonna have a cup of this right now. And I really gotta get showering and going, but you know, some days I'm just like, do I really have to shower today? <laughs> That's one good thing about working from home is it doesn't matter if you shower or not. I'm trying to cut back on coffee just because anxiety, you know? <laughs> That's that. I'm gonna drink out of my New York mug. I love this mug because it has a little taxi cab right there, but yeah, that's about it. Keep you guys posted on how the day progresses. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I just wanted to pause here to let you know of two new Dossier perfumes for this month. I am such a huge fan of Dossier. I've been working with them for so long now and I think that you guys should try them if you haven't already, but I'm super excited about one scent that I'm about to feature today because I use this just about every day. So I always like to pick perfumes based on the time of year. Whenever I'm going into new seasons, I always like to match the scent based on the weather outside. I love this one. It's called Woody Sandalwood. It's inspired by Le Labo Santal 33. I use this all the time. I even like to actually mix this with other Dossier perfumes in my collection. Since I've been working with them for so long, I have quite a few in my collection. So this is my most used one by far. I just love how subtle it is, but it's very distinct as well. I get so many compliments on this. I've had several people come up to me asking me if I'm wearing Le Labo Santal 33, and I say yes. So we can keep that our little secret. The next perfume that I'm featuring today is called Musky Musk and this is inspired by Juliet Has a Gun. So my sister actually owns this one, but she has the Juliet Has a Gun, and as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I need that. And I was so excited when Dossier came out with this perfume, so I had to get my hands on it. Again, it's just a very subtle, nice, clean scent. I have to tell you guys, almost every video that I feature Dossier in, I always recommend them because I use these fragrances every single day. So I definitely think you should check them out. It's so affordable. They have a really good return policy. So if you don't like one of the scents, you can just exchange it for another, but shop around on there. I promise you will find something that fits your taste. And if you use the code 10LAURAM at checkout, it'll get you 10% off your order. That also can be included with the welcome offer as well. Definitely check it out. I'm a major fan. If you get anything from this video, pick up Woody Sandalwood it's the perfect summery fall basically year-round scent you will not be disappointed hey guys 
I am shutting my laptop. We are done with work for the day, for the weekend. And I just want to give you an update. So I went and got my eyebrows done. I filmed a little bit and now I'm getting hungry for dinner. I'm like weirdly tired. Like I don't know if you can tell in my eyes, but like I'm tired and I think I'm getting my period soon. So that explains like why I just feel like I want to lay around and stuff. And it's like really nice outside. And like I thought about going for a walk, but like I'm just so tired. I was like, let me just cook something for dinner, make myself feel better. And maybe I can treat myself to ice cream after dinner. If I didn't have food at home, I would be going out for pizza right now. But honestly, like I, I don't need to, right? And I was like, if I still want it, I can go out later. But I bought a ton of zucchini. And I have to cook this, otherwise it's like gonna go bad. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna make this. And I got another, like why do I get zucchini every time I go to the grocery store? I have this cucumber and it's feeling really squishy. So I think this is like going bad. So I'm gonna cut into this. I've been horrible about planning out my meals. So a little over a week ago, I made a stuffed pepper casserole and it came out amazing. I really enjoyed it, but I forgot to put it in the freezer and it sat in my fridge all weekend when I was in Philly. So I was like, great, now I just waste all that food. So half of the casserole I had to throw away and I hate, absolutely hate doing that. Like I do not like to waste food because it's just like a waste of money and it's just, horrible thing so I'm really upset I didn't freeze that and save it for my future self when I needed a dinner so since then I've been really bad about planning because whenever I make a meal at home it's so hard for me to finish leftovers because there's so much food and most recipes out there they're all like for a four person meal and normally I had no problem doing that and just eating leftovers but now that I'm going into the office, it's like I'm not eating the leftovers, you know? Gotta cut into this. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna make some green juice. I'm doing that. I'm making green juice. That's what we're doing. And I gotta do something with this zucchini. I don't know. We're gonna start with the green juice and see where that takes us. Hopefully I can make enough for like a big batch. This is a good way to get rid of all my veggies, except for the zucchini. I'm not sure if you can tell if ginger has gone bad. I don't know how to tell. So we're just gonna wing it and hope for the best. All right, here goes nothing. I don't mean to complain and be in a place of negativity because I want you guys to enjoy my videos and stuff. But one thing I dislike about this apartment and like going on to my whole thing of like getting sick of living in New York is I don't have any counter space. Just for me to make this juice, like look at how freaking crowded it is it drives me nuts and that's just like another reason why i don't like to cook big meals because it's so hard i know it's a first world problem but it just like takes the joy out of cooking you know what i mean so sorry i'm being so negative but yeah these are my struggles living in new york spinach there's spinach going all over my floor Spinach. I'm just gonna use the rest of this because we're cleaning out the fridge. It's just so funny too because like like this is the size of my kitchen trash can. Like everything here is just miniature. <laughs> I have to laugh. I have to laugh. Also going to finish up this bottle of apple cider vinegar which actually it seems like there's just the perfect amount. That's a lot but it's good. Cayenne pepper. Little shake of that. That was a lot. Probably the rest of this coconut water that's been sitting in my fridge. Should be fine. Um alright. Is that everything? I'm trying to think. Very simple. I think that's it. Blend it up. Wake up the whole neighborhood. Hmm. Oh my god, I forgot the ginger. <laughs> How could I forget? Putting this big bad boy in there. In case you're wondering, it spilled everywhere. 
That's good. That's real good. I mean, of course, it was definitely my fault because I think it was too full of liquid. I kind of want to make like more than one though, so I'm going to take this little glass jar, pour this in there, then I have juice tomorrow morning. Had to blend it a few times, it was kind of a ordeal, but we did it. Okay, we're done. Made the second one for the fridge, I drank like half of it, so that's good to go. I forgot lemon, that's why it tasted funny. Gonna have to add that tomorrow, but still haven't decided what to do with these guys. Honestly, it's a loss. So I'm gonna put them back in the fridge and figure this out in a little bit. We are making progress. I'm making this pasta with some sauteed zucchini, some tomatoes, and gonna add some lemon on top and maybe some goat cheese, and I also want to add balsamic drizzle along with red pepper flakes. So just throwing this last minute dinner together. I also totally forgot that I had these in the fridge. These are sweet Italian sausages, so I'm gonna throw that in the pan as well. We got a nice dinner going all of a sudden. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, but the ice cream truck just drove by. I think that's a sign. <laughs> I am just finishing up plating my dinner. It's not as pretty as I imagined, but I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Okay, show you the deets. So we have the zucchini and tomato under here. We have the pasta, the sausage that I cooked up. I just took it out of the casing because it freaks me out a bit and I topped it with some goat cheese and the balsamic glaze and then I have some red pepper flakes on there and lemon. So, gonna eat this and watch Very Cavallari. I am obsessed with this show. I've been binge watching it and watching like three episodes a night because it's so good. I love it. I love her. So inspiring, but yeah. Just finished dinner. Let's go get some ice cream. I'm getting froyo. I decided they have this vegan one and it has the Oli oat milk, so I'm gonna try these two, I think. This is Friday night. So good though, I wanted the brownie pieces. 15 out of 10. That was amazing. I don't feel like overly full, which is really nice. I am gonna go to Target now and grab a Celsius so that I actually have motivation to work out tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back home from getting my Froyo, which was incredible. And I went to Target, I got some seltzers. I got a case of seltzer, have to make a special trip for that. And I got a Celsius for tomorrow morning. But look at what I found in the seltzer area. These are mini seltzers. Such a gimmick, I know, but look at how cute this packaging is. They're called Pixie Lights, and they're Seltzer Juniors. Zippy citrus with a sidekick of strawberry. I'm not gonna have one right now because they're not cold, but I wanna see what these look like. Oh, this is cute. Look how cute this is. This is my favorite brand of seltzer, by the way. So, I'm gonna put a few of these in the fridge and probably drink this, obviously, soon. Adorable. But that's about it. I am going to read my book for the rest of the evening, get a good night's sleep, and hopefully wake up and go for a run tomorrow morning. I think that's the plan because I think I'm going to rumble on Sunday. So, just wanted to say good night and I will see you in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. I decided that I'm getting myself out of this low energy rut. So it's funny because I got my period this morning and every time I'm like super emotional, I just know what's coming for me. And 
when I have like intense sugar cravings and ice cream cravings like I just know what's about to happen but I've just been like so low energy lately and it's just getting me frustrated so I'm starting off the day with a Celsius and I'm about to go for a run and just block everything out and make myself feel better so let's crack this open this is the arctic vibe sparkling frozen berry celsius i just feel like my hormones make me feel a little crazy sometimes like let me know if you guys struggle with really bad pms because this is just like unmanageable sometimes cheers <laughs> can't decide if i like this kind of tastes like a blue slushy i'm always the type of person to be like this is only temporary like you're just feeling sad right now because you're about to get your period soon and i try to talk myself out of it but some days i just can't like last night crazy anyways let me know if you guys struggle with really bad pms because i have to read that book by elisa vitti i'll put a picture of what it looks like here but i've heard that that book is life-changing so i think i need to step in on that Maybe I'm going to get my IUD removed soon. I really have no idea because maybe that's what's making me crazy. But I've always been crazy, let's be honest. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock right now. I'm going to go for a run. Not sure how far I'm going to go. I kind of want to go like very far today. But every time I have that in my head, I always end up disappointing myself. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like to have any expectations. I like to just go with what my body tells me and how the music's hitting and <laughs> things like that. So no plans really on the itinerary for this weekend other than a rumble class tomorrow we are actually signed up for a 60 minute class so that should be fun i kind of had an idea to go to brooklyn this weekend i don't know i feel like leo and i just like kind of do the same thing every single weekend so it would be fun to explore a whole a new part of the city we don't ever go to brooklyn that often so i was like that might be fun I'm wearing Lululemon leggings. I decided these are my new favorite leggings. They are the fast and free. They have a pocket, so I don't have to wear my running belt. My favorite New Balance sneakers. I will always repurchase these over and over again. And then this sports bra is from Forever 21. It's very old, but I love it. Let's get going. Hello, I'm back. Seven and a half miles. Feeling good, feeling back to myself again. I feel back in my body, in my mind. I'm connected, we are good. So I just posted a vlog today and basically I was just ranting about living here in New York and the feedback that you guys have been telling me. It's sounding more and more appealing to just move out of the city. We'll see. Not sure what the future holds, but recently I've really been trying to pinpoint like what's so different about the city, right? And I've talked to my friends about it. I think I've even mentioned this on my vlogs before, but I could never really pinpoint it. And I think, you know, with the past two years, things have changed. I've gotten older, so my interests in the city aren't the same as they once were. It's just like what I put value on has changed a lot as well. So it just doesn't seem like a good financial decision to stay here and spend an astronomical amount of money on rent when I'm living in a box. It just is not as appealing to me anymore. I got the apartment that I always wanted. I always wanted to live alone in my area that I live in and I got that and I just think almost that it might be time to move on to the next thing. And what's crazy because I was the type of person that would always, always, always say that I could never move out of the city. Like I can't even imagine it. Like couldn't even fathom that idea didn't even welcome the idea because I was so in love with it and I am still in love with it it will always have a special place in my heart but things are different things have changed my priorities have shifted that's what it is so that's all I gotta stretch and shower get ready I'm gonna put on a cute outfit and have ourselves a nice weekend hey guys I am ready to go I just wanted to show my outfit to you I'm going to head to Leo's because I have a bag to drop there. And then we're going to head to Brooklyn, I guess, for the day. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But here is my outfit. Just wearing this hat from Amazon. It's an Ace hat. 
and this top is from H&M. These shorts are from Zara, and then I'm wearing these Adidas sneakers and then some high socks. But wanted to dress up, but also be comfy. So this is it. I also might put on a blazer, actually. Let's see. I think it's like gonna get colder later. One sec. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need this, but I don't know if it's even worth bringing. I'm walking out the door, wanted to show you what it looks like with the bag and everything. I also have sunglasses in here, but let's go. Just got to Leo's. We are trying to get a cab and we're going down to get some pizza because it's still on my mind. When we were standing there waiting for a cab, this girl complimented my outfit and Leo looks back at me like, he looks me up and down, he's like, <laughs> we need more of that positivity in this world. That was so nice of her to just compliment a stranger, you know? We're at Marinara. Getting pepperoni for sure. Look at this. I'm obsessed with this place. Yum. So nice in here. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> we are about to walk over the Williamsburg Bridge. We actually don't know if you can walk on it or not. Leo says he thinks it's just bikes, but I have a feeling there has to be some sort of walkway but he just took some Instagram pictures for me. We love that. So keep you posted if we end up in Brooklyn. We're going on. We can walk on it. It's gonna collapse after the pizza, I can see. <laughs> oh boy, gotta walk off the pizza. Eyes on? Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. to Brooklyn. We're here. Hey guys, we are home and we showered making dinner. We're making chicken and roasted broccoli and some roasted onion potatoes. So good. There's Leo. Yes. So it's 8.45, so very late dinner, but we had that pizza for lunch today. It was so good. Marinara is my favorite pizza place in the whole city. So good. Then we went to Brooklyn, as you saw, and it took us so long to get back into the city. It was kind of a nightmare. I also had to go to the bathroom really bad. We couldn't find a public restroom to use. We tried walking into McDonald's and it was out of order, of course. And every other place we tried was out of order. So we ended up having to take the train back into Manhattan and I just had to hold it until we got to Whole Foods and then we got some groceries and now we're here. So. I'll show you dinner once it's all plated, but we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the night and eat some snacks, and it's gonna be great. These potatoes, unbelievable. I just pulled the potatoes out of the oven, come to realize he doesn't have ketchup. What kind of person doesn't have ketchup? I'm going, <laughs> going to get it. No, don't. Seriously? No, don't. No ketchup. He's dating the ketchup queen. I can't believe this. What kind of psychopath doesn't have ketchup in their fridge? Comment down below if you understand. <laughs> Comment down below if you don't have ketchup in your fridge. No, if you do. No, if you don't. I want to know if you guys don't have ketchup in your fridge. Like, is this normal? Because it's not normal to me. I need it at all times. Just comment down below your thoughts on ketchup. Yeah, comment <laughs> down below. Do you need ketchup in your fridge at all times? Because I'd love to know. <laughs> Here is the finished product. 
I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on top. Good morning. We're on the High Line walking to Rumble. It's a 60 minute class today, so. Let's see how this goes. just moved to LA and the Chargers are from oh, LA and have right. like the same logo. Same logo. Why would they do that? I don't know. Hey guys, we finished at Rumble. It was such a good class. We're walking through Washington Square Park right now. We got some juice and some smoothies at Juice Generation. And now we're headed to Soho. Leo needs to stock up on his espresso pods. No, they're for you. <laughs> Yeah, he oh, like, maple. he buys my favorite Nespresso pods to keep at his apartment, which is so nice, my Stormio pods, but might go into Aloe, not sure yet, but happy Sunday. We're at this coffee shop, this bathroom is insane. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Hey guys, back home, showered, I'm exhausted. Too much exercise this weekend, but I'm not here to complain. I'm here to show you what I got. So, we went to Nespresso and I got some pods. So I got these coconut ones, I'm obsessed, they're so good. And then these new pumpkin spice ones. I tried this in the store, it's so good. And then we went to Brandy Melville and I got these sweatpants because they were so soft. I literally could not pass them up. But they're just these jogger sweatpants. Super baggy, super comfy. Can't wait to wear those. And then I also got this little long sleeve top from Brandy Melville. It's the softest thing in the world. Thought it's good for just hanging out, to throw on. And that's all. We also went to Zara and I tried a bunch of things on, but nothing really fit me right. So that's that. We're making dinner now. So we're having ravioli with this rabiata sauce and then we're having some veggies which include some zucchini some broccoli again and that's it and then these are the raviolis they look pretty good um and then we also bought this, which I might end up making. I'm very excited about this. I'm just in the mood for a nice little cake situation. So that's that. We bought the sausage from Whole Foods. We bought a spicy and a garlic herb. So that should be phenomenal. We're making this. What are you laughing at? Me in the background. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This is the easiest thing to ever make. Good. Oh, this smells amazing. What? Seriously? Yeah, I know. I'm really upset. Wait, what? It's literally on the box. I know, it's false advertising. That is they actually give you a false advertising. So what are we gonna do? 
we're just gonna have to eat it dry. Let's go to Sonic and get icing. I love Whole Foods, but this is false advertising because they didn't include the icing. Come on now. Yes. You're gonna be very happy about this. Why? It tastes phenomenal. see that tomorrow when I'm uh, editing. I know, I just really flinched a lot. <laughs> you just think you're so funny. <laughs> what did you put on my head? I didn't put anything on your head. I'm literally laughing at myself. You're ridiculous. 57 minutes later, here we are. Came out really good. If only we had some icing to put on top, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. Hey guys, happy Monday. Wanted to check in because I said I would be vlogging on Monday and I started that liver cleanse today. Don't feel any different. It's probably a gimmick, but whatever. Not a big deal. I'm eating a yogurt bowl as per usual, just working today. But one thing I want to mention too is we are still doing the skeleton series. Just want to remind you guys. So if you have seen the skeleton up until this point, please comment down below. I love seeing your comments when you guys spot him. I know sometimes it can be challenging to spot him, but let me know. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I just wanted to share my outfit with you all because I actually really like it today and I was going to get rid of this shirt like a long time ago, but I'm glad I didn't. So the shirt is actually from TJ Maxx. And then these jeans are from Princess Polly. They're honestly my favorite jeans ever. And then these shoes, I don't even know if you can see them. They're loafers from Zara. Fingers crossed they don't give me blisters, but just wanted to say hi. I have to go into the office early today because I have a 9.30 meeting, so gotta be there on time. It's gonna be a busy day today, but Busy's good, so. But, yeah. That's all. Have a good day.